I'm glad about that. The ambassador is commissioned to be sent out. Don't let nobody fool you. Your job ain't just on Sunday morning. Your job is 24 7, 365 days out of the year. Tell somebody about a man named Jesus. The ambassador possesses all the authority. Hear me now. The authority and power of the one who sent him out. So you ain't got to fear nobody. The Bible says, fear not the one that can kill the body. We feel all that can kill the body and the soul. It don't matter what you do. The rebel cat is by. Rebel cat ain't worried about that. The rebel cat is knowing one day I have to stand before Jesus.
But see, most of y'all here in the city of Roman Catholic with no clothes on. I'm talking from a spiritual perspective. You know, sometimes the Lord has to let you be all by yourself. So you can realize that it ain't all You know, one way to go. Yeah. 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 You make everything all right. You may not do it the way you want it done. But when Jesus fixed it, it's fixed in me. And the priest would declare them clean. I'm glad this morning that I can stand before you and tell you that the Lord is able to do all things except fail. Somebody here needs to realize God is just one prayer away. I know you've been praying. Sometimes you may even get tired of praying. But keep on praying until you get an answer. And then whatever he tells you to do, you find yourself doing it. See, if you know that my topic was faithful ambassadors for Christ. In order to be faithful, first you've got to have faith. And see, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Sometimes you got to walk by faith and not by faith. You can't see what's going on out there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The devil will talk with you. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. If he breathes on you, make another thing. If he a little better, he's not. That's why the whole book is saying something within me. Yeah. Right. I cannot explain something within me that bears this pain. Something within me that holds back the rain. All that I know is there's something within you. And we all got something on the inside. See, Jesus, when he left us, he left us something called the Holy Spirit. And it dwells on the inside. And sometimes when you don't know all you can do, you just close your eyes and let the Holy Spirit dry. And he'll make everything. God bless you. God keep you today. You know I love you. And we're just so grateful that even in the midst of sorrow back, God can speak to the winds and the waves of your life and declare peace be still. God bless you. And God keep you is our prayer. Morning. We're going to extend the hand of invitation. Maybe somebody here today that finds himself out of the ark of safety. Somebody here today that needs some help on this journey called life. All right. All right. I'm here to recommend a man named Jesus. They call him Emmanuel, God with us. If you allow him to come into your heart today, in the book of Revelation, he says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if you open the door, I'll come in. And I'll have fellowship with you. And 